Hello again, and welcome back to the Garage Clinic. Today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. One of the things I've said from the beginning of this is anything in the garage is fair game. Uh, many times, it's not about the car. It's about just enjoying the garage. This is sort of like a man cave garage, a little fun area. So what I've got today is uh, I had an old toolbox that I got in a used car that I bought about 20 years ago. And I never really had a use for it. It was just in the trunk. And it wasn't bad, it was just a craftsman toolbox. And for the longest time, I couldn't figure out what to do with it. A really good friend of mine named Twitch had taken up a hobby of pinstriping. And he's gotten to be pretty good at it, so I asked him to stripe the box just to kind of make it cool and gave him complete reign. Fortunately, he didn't go overboard, but it was really, really subtle, very, very tasteful. And he, he chose some colors to match the Trans Am. I decided to make a camera bag out of it. Since I'm doing this, and I've got this camera equipment that I use for this. While it's here in the garage, I want to be able to protect it from dust, dirt, temperature, or whatever. Anyway, I got some foam and I'm making a camera bag out of it. And who knows whether it'll last that way for a long time, but it was a lot of fun to do. So I figured I'd make a quick video to show you how I do it. So once the toolbox got striped, the next step was to find out what I wanted to use on the inside. Let me save you some time. Don't bother going to Lowe's, Home Depot, any of the big box stores. I went to all the craft stores. Nobody had anything other than what you'd stuff in a pillow. So I ended up having to go uh, and order it online. And I got this Kaizen foam. It's a, it's a black closed cell foam. It's 57 millimeters, um, evidently thick. But the cool part about it is it's, it's layered pieces that are glued together so that when you drill into it or, or cut into it, you can cut at the depth that you want to cut. And then you can reach in and peel it and it'll peel back a relatively flat bottom so it doesn't go through those layers. That keeps you from having to dig it out or drill all the way through it and then cut a piece to go back at the bottom. Some of the tools I used were a large cutting blade, a small finer cutting blade. Uh, from a, an angle tool that I use for woodworking, I use a hard metal ruler to provide a perfect straight edge. Worked great. To cut the lens holes, I just used a, a hole saw bit, which was made for wood, but it, lo and behold, it cuts foam very, very easily. got a hard edge ruler. Slide this down a little bit. Hard edge ruler to, to guide the blade. If I can do this without cutting my hand off. As you can see, I laid out the outline of the camera, which I, unfortunately I couldn't record it because the camera was being used as the outline and I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out and then remove the the foam from the inside there
the moment of truth. This, put it over here. I love taking something old like that old toolbox and repurposing it into something new and kind of cool. There's one thing I'll do differently next time, and that's add heat. I don't know why I have to do it twice. If you feel like it, leave a few comments on the page. We'll take a look at that. Uh, if you'd like to go take a look at the Facebook page, it is The Garage Clinic on Facebook. So I appreciate it very much, and we'll see you guys next time.